If you're thinking about traveling this summer, you may be closely watching for deals. Ticket prices have spiked and airlines are struggling to provide seats for quickly disgruntled passengers. I know the drill. According to the TSA, the level of people now traveling has surpassed that of pre-COVID with over 2.7 million people flying as of this past Sunday. The number of canceled flights is skyrocketing, though. Sunday saw 6% of flights canceled, according to Flightware. Airlines are citing waves of staff retirement and shortages in air traffic controllers as just some of the reasons for struggling, reasons that they're struggling to keep up with the increased demand. So it comes as a surprise to you, perhaps, that airfare prices took a dive over the last month. News to me as well, dropping close to 19% year over year. With inflation slowing, by the way, airlines are able to take on more of the cost. However, according to data from Axios, airline tickets are roughly half of what they used to cost 10 years ago when looking at the average Americans' work hours to afford that plane ticket.